Hey y'all, how's it going? Welcome to Leo Love Readings. This is a reading for Gemini and Gemini Cross Watchers. I am going to be getting you guys a love message. So I'm using a deck that I created myself. It's already ready to go and um, it's going to pull on the energy that is the most prominent out here for Gemini energy. Somebody who is in love with you and wants to tell you about it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck. Okay, you get a bonus card. I'm going to cut the deck and take eight out of the middle. And that's going to be... Huh, interesting. That's going to be your message. And so eight may be a significant number for you, but nine may be a significant number for you because this one um, kind of jumped out when I cut, when I made the cut. I'm so afraid of love. So you have a bonus card, <clears throat> and it's that. So, all right, let's get started. Listen, you deserve love. I respect you. <clears throat> I can't take my eyes off you. You fulfill my fantasies. <clears throat> Excuse me. This person is watching you any way they can can't look away whether it's pictures they have of you whether you have social media whether you sit next to them whether your fucking cubicles are next to each other i don't know you go into a coffee shop every day and it's a barista i don't know but they can't take their eyes off you they can't stop thinking about you and honey they they're doing some they're having some <clears throat> some dirty nasty f Dirty, nasty, filthy thoughts about you. I'm lost without you. So, this implies that you have more of a deep connection than maybe some of those things that I've just said. But, I don't like to make snap judgment calls, but this, this sort of is an, an indication of a little bit of depth between you. Uh, yeah, my heart beats for you. So this got deep real quick, okay? I don't know necessarily if a barista at Starbucks is going to say this to you. Somebody that you don't know. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> but this is hinting at a little bit more of a deep connection here. My heart beats for you. I'm lost without you. Wow. <laughs> Excuse me. I yearn for your touch. So we have yearning fantasizing and your last card is I'm not going so this person is not going anywhere they don't want to leave you <clears throat> so they are afraid they're afraid of love in general I think that they're afraid of how much they love you because we have my heart beats for you. So this is a pretty big deal. Um, it's a pretty big deal. I'm lost without you. Yeah. <clears throat> they respect you. They know that you deserve love. Which is the thing that they're afraid of. So. Um, I feel like what's going on here. Is that this person is being like pushed they're pressed they're being pushed towards you because there's like stalker energy here and i don't mean that in an unhealthy way but this person has been doing more watching than talking they've do been doing more fantasizing than living they've been doing more 
imagining then building a reality. I really feel this person has pictures of you in their phone. They don't have to be dirty pictures. I should I should say that a different way. Um, because I don't think that the naked physical body is dirty in any way. Um, they may not be like boudoir pictures, I'll just say that. They might not be nudes, per se. They could just be, you know, uh, I feel for the most part, these are just regular pictures, pictures of your face. Just pictures of you, just you, especially I feel your face. That's why I don't, I don't know about the X-rated pictures, but for some of you, that may be the case. But your face, it's something about your face, your lips and your eyes are the two features. And this person really likes your hair, the way that your hair like frames your face or something um <clears throat> the fantasies that this person has about you the sexual fantasies like the intimate fantasies that they have with you it they literally start with your face with looking at you and touching your face and it goes from there like looking into your eyes and this person's very deep they're very romantic this is a very loving energy this isn't just send me a picture of the cheeks girl <laughs> like it ain't that you know not saying that they'd probably you know I'm sure they would love to see the booty and that it doesn't have to be a man or a woman I would it was just a fi figure of speech I'm just funny okay like I know I get the comments like, uh, in regards to gender, so I'm not trying to like single anybody out, but, um, they just really love you. They really, they really love your face. <laughs> so I think they have, have pictures of you saved that they have gotten from random places. And they, <sighs> look. This person wants you so much. Like, you don't know. I, I Like, I'm literally getting that you don't know. Because this person's afraid. So you don't know. They, look, the word yearn, look. It's like throwing the towel on this. Like, this person is... <clears throat> you've pulled this person without trying. That's what's going on. They're pulled. They're off the field. They just are. They're not. This person doesn't even, like, look twice at anyone else. I don't care if they are naked. They don't care. They don't They don't care. They're determined to be by your side. They are determined to be with you. I don't know if something happened. I don't know if it's <clears throat> you left them or you have given them an ultimatum. They're, they somehow know what their life is like without you in it after having known you, after having fallen in love with you. They know what this feels like. They don't like it. <clears throat> I feel like um, this person tries to live their life and go about their day to day activities, and they're not. It's like they're not like they're an invalid or something. Like they get by, but there's this va vacant feeling <clears throat> that this person has inside of them without you and they when they like look over and realize you're not next to them this person imagines you with them or it's like they feel you <clears throat> with them 
And when they sort of come out of their fantasy land and they look over and they realize that chair is empty, like they might actually have conversations with you. <clears throat> Not in a creepy way, but they just love you. Like they just, they can't help it. It's like this naturally happens. I feel like it's a spiritual thing. I feel like you guys are very, very spiritually connected. And sometimes I think this person feels kind of weird <clears throat> about this. About the fact that they will just be doing something. I'm seeing like somebody on a computer. So they might be doing work or playing a video game or doing art on a computer or something like this. Something that's kind of no brain. You know, it's like a... Like a muscle memory sort of liminal activity and they start thinking about you like they always do something always reminds them of you and without realizing it they catch themselves because they're alone or they don't give a fuck one of the two but they catch themselves literally having like on their end vocal conversations with you and it feels like you're there. And then it's like they snap out of it. And then they're like, what the fuck am I doing? But they're literally having conversations with you spiritually. And then when this person realizes that you're not there. They have this reaction. And that... <clears throat> reaction that they feel is almost more concerning to this person than the fact that they're just sitting there like uh, somebody with schizophrenia talking to an empty chair. It literally feels like the inside of them is like scooped out and it's hollow and it hurts them. Like, it physically hurts them. And they get so fucking sad. Now, if you f are feeling feelings like that, just out of nowhere, and you're like, where is this super fucking sad feeling coming from? It's this. <clears throat> it's this. And you wouldn't know, because they're not going to tell you, hey... Um, yeah, like, I was just having a fake conversation with you because I'm obsessed with you and I realized you aren't there. And then I went in the bathroom and cried for like an hour. Sorry. Because, you know, maybe you've said something to this person about feeling these feelings and not knowing where they come from. And they're just like, fuck. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> it's really freaking this person out. <clears throat> and then they just go right back to look at your pictures again. Aww. But they're in so deep. So yeah, so something is happening where they're feeling a pressure. Because I do feel like you have some sort of a relationship with each other. It might just be, you know, it, you don't have to be, like, dating. Like, you could just be friends. But there's something. And what it feels like is, is something like you're dating somebody else or they... They... I don't know, like, they're afraid. There's, there, I could, there's a feeling of being threatened. And I don't exactly know where that's coming from. It could be different things for all of you guys. But they feel like they have to come forward and say something. Because they're not, they're not gonna, they're not gonna just disappear. And... <clears throat> I don't know what exactly it is that's going on, but that's what I keep hearing. That's what I keep hearing is this person saying either to you or to themselves, I'm not just going to disappear. I'm not just going to go away. 
I'm not gonna just wake up one day and not want to look at your pictures. I'm not just gonna wake up one day and just stop talking to you like you're next to me. I'm not I'm not going to find anybody else that does these things to me. And I'm not going to just watch you be with somebody else. I'm not going to just watch somebody else give you the things I want to give you. I'm not going to just watch somebody else with their hands all over you when it's supposed to be mine. So... There's something that is pushing this person towards you to tell you this, even though they're afraid. Spirit says to show you this card, and it's the end. <clears throat> You're a blessing. So, that's how this person feels. <laughs>